Hello everyone. I am Kuldeep Daryani and I love to help people become better in their personal and professional life. Dear friends, in this video we will enlighten regarding base work program cash flow with respect to payment milestones and project milestones in ham road projects. The base program in the form of cash flow is derived from the physical and financial progress planned as per the concession agreement for ham road projects project milestones for nhi ham projects for better understanding standard time period has been modified project milestone 1 which shall occur on the date falling on the 300 day from the appointed date and prior to occurrence of project milestone 1 the concessionaire shall have expended not less than 20% of the total capital cost set forth in the financial package and also have achieved 20% of physical progress project milestone 2 shall occur on date falling on the 420 day from the appointed date and prior to occurrence of project milestone 2 the concessionaire shall have expended not less than 35% of the total capital cost set forth in the financial package and also have achieved 35% of physical progress project milestone 3 shall occur on the date following on the 690 days from the appointed date and prior to the occurrence of project milestone 3 the concessionaire shall have commenced construction of all project facilities and expended not less than 75% of the total capital cost set forth in the financial package and also achieved 75% of physical progress next final project milestone is called the scheduled completion date which shall be the 900 days from the appointed date and on or before the scheduled completion date the concessionaire shall have completed the project in accordance with the agreement now let us understand payment milestones these are different from the project milestones while the project milestones deal with the performance of the contract the payment milestones are the basic requirement to avail government grant for 40% or 60% of the bid project cost depending upon the type of projects with the state or central government it is important to know that there is no time period defined for payment milestones related progress which is the subject matter of interpolation and extrapolation with respect to project milestone progress this can be further understood from the following on nhi project upon receiving a progress report from the independent engineer certifying the achievement of the payment milestones the authority shall disperse payments within 15 days of receipt of each report this being an equal installment of 8% of the bid project cost adjusted for the price index multiple as applicable on the reference index date preceding the date of the report shall be for payment milestone 1 on achievement of 20% physical progress b for payment milestone 2 on achievement of 40% physical progress c for payment milestone 3 on achievement of 60% physical progress d for payment milestone 4 on achievement of 75% physical progress and e for payment milestone 5 on achievement of 90% of physical progress state government projects differ from central government and nhi projects with respect to the construction grant which is 60% for state instead of 40% in nhi also in state government projects project milestones period is also different to understand these two categories of milestones and the percentage progress derived by interpolation and extrapolation we can look at the table as an example
please note that for the sake of quick understanding period in days has been taken and rounded off to month at the rate 30 days per month let us assume appointed date as 1st january 2022 construction period as 900 days or 30 months bid project cost as 1000 crore now let us explain milestone progress and percentage number of days or months to achieve milestone original or derived schedule date cumulative cost for cash flows for project milestone 1 which requires progress as 20% in 300 days or 10 months leads to the date as 30th october 2022 to achieve progress for rupees 200 crore payment milestone 1 which again requires progress as 20% in 300 days or 10 months leads to the date same as 30th october 2022 to achieve progress for same 200 crore for project milestone 2 which requires progress as 35% in 420 days or 14 months which leads to the date as 28 february 2023 to achieve progress for 350 crore payment milestone 2 which requires progress as 40% has been interpolated for 450 days or 15 months which leads to the date as 31st march 2023 to achieve progress for rupees 400 crore payment milestone 3 which requires progress as 60% has been interpolated for 600 days or 20 months which leads to the date as 31st august 2023 to achieve progress for rupees 600 crores for project milestone 3 which requires progress as 75% in 690 days or 23 months which leads to the date as 30th november 2023 to achieve progress for rupees 750 crore payment milestone 4 which requires same progress as 75% has been interpolated for 690 days or 23 months which leads to the date as 30th november 2023 to achieve the same progress for rupees 750 crores payment milestone 5 which requires progress as 90% has been interpolated for 810 days or 27 months which leads to the date as 31st march 2024 to achieve progress for rupees 900 crore for scheduled completion date which requires progress as 100% in 900 days or 30 months leads to the date as 30th june 2024 to achieve progress for 1000 crore thus it can be clearly seen that in the initial 10 months period from the appointed date the target progress achievement is 20% of the bid project cost thus asking rate of progress is around 2% per month but it is very important to note that the target progress requirement being 60% in next 1.2 year or 14 months results in the asking rate of progress at the rate 4.3% per month which is more than double of initial 10 months asking rate the balance construction period of 6 months for a project having total construction period of 30 months the asking rate of progress is average of about 2 as 3.3% per month to achieve remaining progress for 20% in last 6 months period based on time period and relevant percentage progress defined in the contract cumulative cash flow amounts can be derived which need to be linked to the boq items for micro planning when it comes to the construction of relevant activities program in the following videos we will elaborate more details on other aspects of contract administration for more details please visit our website 
दरियानी इंजीनियर्स एंड एसोसिएट्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड